Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. In 2019, the world began hearing reports about a strange and flu-like illness making dozens of people sick in China. Soon it was confirmed that the mysterious illness was a novel coronavirus. Coronaviruses can cause all kinds of illnesses, like the common cold or more dangerous ones like SARS. A novel coronavirus means that it's a new strain of virus identified in humans for the first time. This type of virus was exactly the kind of infection that Dr. Kizmikia Corbett had been researching for the past five years. Dr. Kizmikia was a viral immunologist at the National Institute of Health. In early 2020, the death toll from this new virus began to rapidly climb. By then, Dr. Kizmikia had already published groundbreaking research about the structure of other coronaviruses like SARS and MERS. Her work began to become quickly more urgent than ever before. In January 2020, Chinese scientists shared the genetic makeup of the virus that was sweeping through Wuhan. Dr. Kizmikia and her supervisor, Dr. Barney Graham, immediately saw that their research could easily be adapted to fight the new coronavirus. In order for millions of lives to be saved, the world needed a vaccine. For most, Dr. Kizmikia and her team needed to accomplish something seemingly impossible. However, Dr. Kizmikia was used to having to prove herself. As a black woman in science, she was accustomed to having to assert herself in rooms filled with white men. In the first few frantic months of 2020, Dr. Kizmikia led her team to one of the most stunning achievements in the history of immunizations, a highly effective vaccine against COVID-19. What's even more wondrous is that the vaccine was delivered and authorized for use in under a year. By December 2020, the first COVID-19 vaccine was authorized by the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use. Dr. Kizmikia became known to many Americans when news photos were published showing her in a laboratory amidst a crowd of influential men that included then-President Donald Trump and Dr. Fauci. In May 2021, she joined the faculty at Harvard's T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Despite all of her achievements, she states, If I fail as a black woman, this department at Harvard will overlook black women until infinity. Being the first in so many kinds of these spaces has so much pressure. Dr. Kizmikia receives 10 to 20 emails a week from black women and girls and says, I risk my all to make sure to stand up for them. Thanks for watching Deeper Than Red. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.